Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Sagittarius. This is going to be your daily reading for your general energies and also for your love energy Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming up for your general energies guys before moving on to your love energy Sagittarius. What is coming up for your general energies guys? Okay, guys, so with these cards, what I'm generally getting here for you is that you guys are trying your best to accomplish a lot of things. You guys are in this energy, but um, you might find some people are not treating you right, but then you just know who will treat you right. You know who is your side and you know who will not treat you right. And you're just in this energy where... Um, you're so clear about everything and you you know what is going to manifest and you know who are going to stay nice to you and you are in this energy where you're happy with life, okay? You're not going to complain about a lot of things to a lot of people. You're, not, you're going to be this person who actually understands things from a different angle, who takes life really in a very cheerful way and who really understands everything from every perspective okay you're a person who views life from a different perspective and all of that that's what i generally see for you here so this is all i feel for you here guys let's see what's coming up for your love energies For your love energies, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Lover's card, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. With these cards, you have to make a quick decision in your love life because this person cannot tolerate this act or like your person cannot. This person is going to make a quick decision because they also feel and think that they will lose you if they don't make a quick decision. So yes, your person is going to make a quick decision soon about this relationship they have with you are about all these things okay that's what i see here generally also what i'm getting here is that you guys might find yourselves in a very complicated situation in your love life and you don't know if these things are manifesting well or you don't know if these things are manifesting correctly or something like that. You just have a doubt on everything. I just see that. You're just doubtful with each and every, doubtful about things and you don't know if things will manifest into physical reality. You're really working on things, okay? That's what I see here. Working on things in the sense, working on everything to be right for you and all of that, guys. So that is what I see here generally for you all. So let's see what's coming up for your messages. Your person really wants to make a quick decision because they feel like if they take time, they might lose you. That's the main thought which is making this person really make this quick decision about you. Okay, that's what at least I see here generally for you all. This person really misses you and they really, and they really don't want to lose you because of some situation okay they really value for who you are what you are and they really don't want to lose you with some idiotic situation they just want things to manifest well in your life and they just really want everything to actually go very smooth with you and they really feel like making a fast decision would make things right and would give you whatever you wanted in life or something like that they just have some kind of belief that they need to manifest like this okay they need to manifest some things this way to just get the good things out of it or they just feel they need to have this manifestation working okay so this is all i see for you here guys generally that's what i'm getting for you all my lovelies i hope getting the energies so 
this is all i have for you guys thank you all so much for watching your lucky color for today is green and your lucky crystal for today is blue tourmaline bye guys see you all tomorrow guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so this is again going to be a pick a card reading so this pick a card reading you can watch it if you are any zodiac sign if your sun sign is anything from uh, scorpio cancer pisces till leo aries sagittarius okay so yes guys and also i will be laying out three piles here and you can choose one from these three piles so if you are attracted to more than one it's okay you can go ahead and watch the reading for both the piles okay so this reading can be timeless so if you come across the daily reading and if you come across this uh, reading after this it will still resonate with you because it is a timeless reading okay without any further delay let us just start off so i will be um, placing cards for three piles here pile number one two and three so i will be giving you an overall insight into the situation if you are in a relationship if you are a single if you are in a separation state so this is going to be like uh, a reading for how this person feels for you for all the three sets of you I hope uh, I hope I made it clear. I, if you have any doubts, please make sure to comment down below and ask me because I will be doing readings like this every day. So if you are following me up, it's really good to ask me questions. Okay, the done being confused. So I will just place the three piles here for you guys. Pile number one. Pile number two and pile number three so me, let me just arrange these piles accordingly one two three okay so i also have some message cards from this person for each of the files how this person thinks from you from heart what are their feelings for you from their heart okay what are their heartful feelings for you? What are they thinking about you in their heart? Maybe some people, they think differently and they voice out differently. Some people, they think differently and they're not able to voice out because of certain things, because of certain personal issues or something. They might not be able to voice out. So for those of you, your person's not voicing out or their thoughts or you feel like they're just going far away from you, but you can feel that they love you. So this reading for is for those who feel that way about their pe about the person. Okay. So yes, guys, let us just get on with a pile number one. You guys can meditate on each of the piles and choose one pile or choose. It's okay to choose more than one pile, but it's always good to concentrate and choose a pile either than choosing two or three all three piles okay so all three piles may resonate for few of you two piles may resonate for some of you so it's all your wish guys so i will be starting with a pile number one and i will get back to you all guys okay so pile number one some of you please link the timestamps in the comments if i'm not doing it in the description Okay, so we have the Empress, the King of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So with these cards, guys, the King of Cups usually comes up when there is a lot of emotions, when there is a lot of feelings. But according to these three cards for you guys, all I can see here is that the King of Cups coming in reverse is a direct sign that there is no emotional stability in your connection or you or this person i think some of i don't know if it's you or this person okay but um in this both of you one person is not showing the emotional attachment like the other which is why this relationship is not progressing further which is why this is not going right for both of you so yes guys 
and also what I can see here is that one person is not showing much emotional stability in this connection or they're not being emotional to you, they're not expressing their feelings um, or how they even thinking about you. But this person is an emotional person, just that they're not able to express their emotions due to certain circumstances. Maybe they're not able to be like spending much time with you because of their work or they're not able to um, give you that much attention due to their own things okay with the empress card i can also see here that this person feels very very proud of themselves they feel somewhat that they rule you they have control over you so this person has a lot of feelings towards you they have a lot of feelings towards this connection with you they really like thinking about you every day they're wanting to like connect with you more um every day so this person is just very very concerned about you they want to connect with you they want to love you they do care a lot for you so that is what i can see here for you guys for pile number one and at the same time guys this person can be a little bit prideful so if you go towards this person first if you approach them first it is a very like it is a less chance that this person would accept you back into their life so it's good to stay away from this person. I'm not saying this because I feel you need to, but um, let this person approach you. Make sure that you kind of like become your own happiness. I mean, you create your own happiness for yourself. Do the things that you love and let this person get attracted back to you. Like seeing you on social media, seeing you happy in your surrounding and let them be like, oh my God, this person is very fun. I never thought they would be like this and let them come back if they want, okay? Uh, it is not like your, your, what to say guys, it's you shouldn't go beg for them and you shouldn't go like talk to them to bring them back into your life. No, don't do that. Just enjoy your life and you will see this person coming back. Okay, just work on yourself, love yourself, do what you're supposed to do and everything will happen accordingly. Okay, and yes, I also have some message cards. Your patience is unreal. This person definitely feel like they like your patience because you're being patient, you don't overreact or even though you overreact, there's a difference between patience and overreaction. Like you guys are patient in any situation. You don't you don't have a quick response okay or uh, what to say guys you would wait for something you would wait there's nothing like you would keep moving on from one thing to another without waiting so there's a lot of like patient energy from you that this person definitely adores you like me like no other so again with this card this person definitely feels like you love them much more than the other people that have came across in life okay and also what I can see here with this card, you love me like no other. This also means like this person, maybe after like leaving you, they've went on with other people. They've been in relationship with other people. And while comparing the other situations with your situation, with other love situations, with your situations, they feel like you are the one who loves them more than the other people. So. That is the main reason this person definitely wants to have a relationship with you. Okay, so that is all I can see here, my lovely, who chose the pile number one. Now I'll be moving on to the pile number two. Okay, guys. For those who chose the pile number two, what do we have here for you? Okay, so we have the two of swords, the ten of cups in reverse. So there is definitely a trust broken in a relationship where wow, there was a lot of trust. Okay, or something definitely happened. And it is like a double choice question now. I don't know what is going on. It's like you don't know what's going on. Like you don't know if this person really loves you. You don't know if this person is going to let go of you. So you're definitely conflicted between two things, okay? So that is what I can see here. You're conflicted between two things. You don't know if this is going to work out. You don't know if this if this is going to like not last, it's going to last, but you're going to go with the flow anyway. 
and with the five of pentacles all i can say here is that you feel lost somewhat lost out in the cold you really don't know what you're going to do you don't feel happy you don't feel responsible you just feel out of nowhere is what i'm getting here okay and also what i can see here the main energy of this reading is that a lot of confusion going on and this person has definitely decided they've decided to do something but i don't know what really is this person's decision and i think like time has to say this but yes this person has decided on something and they will be going with their decision because there is a lot of trust broken in this connection and a lot of things happening in this connection and this person's really um having a conflicted mindset and again they don't want to let go of you because they don't want to feel lonely or they don't want to uh, what to say guys this person feels like lonely um that is the main reason they don't want to let go of this connection okay or they they feel like without you they would be someone out in the cold without anything without nothing even without money or without a home without a proper they wouldn't get what they want so that can also be the reason why they are being with you so it's nothing like a loving um i don't see anything loving i don't see any trusting happy relationship going on all i can see here is that this person is just sticking on to you because they feel like they need something from you guys so this is i don't see any kind of love in this connection i don't see any kind of like progress i don't see a happy new beginning because we have the 10 of cups in reverse which even means like this relationship won't last or this relationship has no potential i'm really sorry to say this but this is true let me take some cards out the way you walk talks my love or everything melts my heart this person a cast for you i would say that they care for you um they do admire you generally as a person but to be honest this relationship will not last you guys okay this person may be a um, very flowery in their language they might be like bringing you roses they might be like are acting as if they do love you but beware of this person they might not love you like the actions i know like actions speak louder than words but sometimes even actions are not you shouldn't believe someone with their action like their true nature will come out in some months or some years so yes if you're strong enough to wait till then and it's your wish but yes i have to tell you this this relationship will not last and if you uh, i'm really sorry if you if you were very what to say guys if you're very happy choosing the pile number 2 and if you're getting a very bad message i have to tell you all this because this is a deep message okay and definitely if you chose the pile number 2 it is a karmic connection it is not a twin flame or a soulmate connection and there's definitely a separation happening okay and if this doesn't resonate with you guys it's definitely not your pile so please stay skip on and watch the other piles whatever you felt attracted to but you don't have to force it you don't have to like if this pile doesn't resonate with you doesn't mean that you have to make it resonate no guys okay so some of you who feel like this is the reading for you then yes but if you definitely feel like this is not the reading for you would you feel this person and you have a strong soul connection um just trust your feeling than tarot cards okay so let us move on to pile number 3 thank you pile number 2 bye guys see you all tomorrow okay so pile number 3 what do we have here for you guys Okay so we have the tower card the 9 of cups and we also have the 4 of pentacles wow so what i can see here with all the three cards especially with the tower card 9 of cups and the 4 of pentacles is that i can see um not a very one step away from a union so the 9 of cups is a card one step away from union there is a lot of possessiveness in this connection this person is very possessive on you they don't want to let go of you and it can be like a controlling behavior so 
for those who chose this pile i see that yes there is a lot of love but this can also bring a lot of possessiveness or a lot of controlling behavior so beware of this if you are okay with it then go ahead because some signs may not be okay with it especially scorpios especially taurus some fixed signs will definitely not be okay with such relationships but anyway guys i have to mention this okay this person definitely cares a lot for you they do love you they do they are thinking about you every day okay it's nothing like this relationship is toxic no it is not toxic but you can always like maybe this person doesn't know how to um express their feelings and that is the main reason maybe because of their own consciousness because of their own um what to say because uh, they don't feel confident in themselves that's the main reason they are like being very possessive on you scared that you would like see someone else or something like that but with the tower card again what i can see here is that just be careful with this person just be careful i'm not saying this person is going to cheat you or something but it's always good to be careful it's always good to kind of say in your limits be careful and see what you're supposed to do okay so this is all i can see here for you guys with the tower card with the nine of cups and with the four of pentacles so let me just take two more cards for you guys i mean these two cards the message cards and then we will be done with the reading we lose track of time when we are together you know how to put me first so yes um they, this person wants you to put them first that is the main reason they are possessive so that can be another reason why they uh, think about you a lot we lose track of time when we're together this person definitely has like too much attraction to you too much love for you which is making them like think about you a lot and they lose even track of time when they're together with you they generally like love you too much and they don't know what they're going to do without you okay so that can be also the reason why this person cares too much for you why you feel like this person um is always obsessed with you because they just don't know what they're going to do when they're not with you or something like that okay so this is all i can see you guys my lovely Who chose the pile number three? Thank you all so much for joining me here. Bye, guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye.